Hi, welcome to the podcast for When the Curves Line Up for May 21st, 2024, featuring the moon near the scorpion's claws. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 5.25 a.m. Central Daylight Time followed by sunset at 8.10 p.m. With the solstice 30 days away, daylight's length is already nearing its maximum. Today's length is 14 hours, 45 minutes at Chicago's latitude. On the solstice the length is 15 hours, 13 minutes. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. Two hours before sunrise, the bright gibbous moon, 95% illuminated, is above the west-southwest horizon. The full moon phase, this month named the flower moon, is two mornings away. It sets in most of the Americas before the moon reaches the official full phase. This morning, the scorpion's claws, Zubinel Janubi and Zubina Shamali, are to the moon's upper left. Zubinel Janubi, the southern pincer, is over 11 degrees from the moon. This evening, notice the moon's place compared to the distant star compared to this morning's location. An hour later, Mars and Saturn are in the eastern sky. Saturn is nearly 20 degrees above the east-southeast horizon. It slowly moves eastward against the distant starfield, that is without bright stars. Mars, slightly brighter and quicker than the ringed wonder, marches eastward and continues to widen a gap to the more distant planet. This morning the red planet is nearly 10 degrees above the east horizon and nearly 30 degrees to Saturn's lower left. The three other bright planets are west of the sun, rising during bright morning twilight. At 30 minutes before daybreak, Mercury is less than 5 degrees above the eastern horizon. Its visibility is challenging, but the planet brightens during this phase of twilight. Venus is heading toward its solar conjunction, on the sun's far side, next month. This is followed by a bright apparition in the western evening sky. Jupiter is moving into the morning sky after its solar conjunction three days ago. A very close Venus-Jupiter conjunction occurs in two mornings, but the pair is too close to the sun for easy visibility. In the evening sky. An hour after sundown, the gibbous moon, 98% illuminated, is over 20 degrees above the southeast horizon and over 20 degrees to Spica's lower left. Look carefully for Zubinel Janubi, the scorpion's southern claw, 3.5 degrees to the lunar orb's upper left. To view the star, block the moon with your extended open hand, similar to blocking the bright sun or use a binocular. The moon may leave a temporary afterimage in eyesight as from a spot from a camera flash. In two evenings, the moon occults or eclipses the star Antares, representing the scorpion's heart in celestial artwork, from the Caribbean Basin, Central America, Africa, and the American Southeast. The event ends as the moon rises from the American Midwest. It is not visible from Western time zones. Rosie Antares rises about an hour after sundown. An hour later it is less than 10 degrees above the east-southeast horizon. The moon sets about an hour before sunrise tomorrow morning. With all the bright planets west of the sun, this ends today's planet forecast. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.